The Black Fast was the most rigorous form of fasting in the history of church legislation, and it was marked by austerity regarding the quantity and quality of food permitted on fasting days, as well as the time wherein such food might be legitimately taken. In the first place, more than one meal was strictly prohibited. At this meal, flesh meat, eggs, butter, cheese, and milk were interdicted, Gregory Thirst, Trellin Synod, Canon 56. Besides these restrictions, abstinence from wine, especially during Lent, was enjoined. Furthermore, during Holy Week, the fare consisted of only bread, salt, herbs, and water. Finally, this meal was not allowed until sunset. St. Ambrose, St. Chrysostom, and St. Basil furnish unequivocal testimony concerning the three characteristics of the Black Fast. The keynote of their teaching is sounded by St. Bernard when he says, quote, Hitherto we have fasted only until none, unquote. Author's note, none is about 3 p.m., and he continues, quote, Whereas now, during Lent kings and princes, clergy and laity, rich and poor, will fast until evening, unquote. It is quite certain that the days of Lent, as well as those preceding ordination, were marked by the Black Fast. This regime continued until the 10th century, when the custom of taking the only meal of the day at 3 o'clock was introduced. In the 14th century, the hour of taking this meal was changed to noonday. Shortly afterward, the practice of taking a collation, a light informal meal in the evening, began to gain ground. Finally, the custom of taking a crust of bread and some coffee in the morning was introduced in the early part of the 19th century. During the past 50 years, owing to ever-changing circumstances of time and place, the church has gradually relaxed the severity of penitential requirements, so that now little more than a vestige of former rigor obtains. This has been the Black Fast in a Nutshell. Thank you for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever.